Hi guys, I'm Ashley and welcome back to 1-2-Tax. In this video, we'll be going through income tax verification. What is income tax verification? Well, once you submit your tax return, SARS can come back and ask for additional documentation that you've used to basically verify the information that you've used to complete your tax return. Um, how do you know if you've selected for verification? Well, SARS will notify you through an official letter um, after the submission of your tax return. Once you receive this letter, it will be dated and you have 21 business days to either submit the information that SARS has asked for or to request for a correction if you have perhaps made a mistake in your tax return or you found that there's something additional you want to add. You have 21 business days from that date where SARS has asked you for that additional information whereby they just are doing a simple verification to validate the information that you have put into your tax return. So now, what documents do you need to submit? Well, basically, as we've gone through the documents that you need to complete your tax return, um, the documents that you will supply to SARS will either be stated in the letter or it will actually usually be the documents that you've used to complete your tax return. So if you know you have had travel and you receive a travel allowance and you've used a logbook and you've claimed this, you will need to supply SARS with a detailed logbook for them in order for them to allow this, this claim. Um, as well as your medical certificate. So basically any information that you, ha you have in your tax return and that you're providing to SARS, you must be able to verify and to say, this is correct and this actually matches what I have given in my tax return. Where do you actually submit these tax returns? So you'll upload it via a link on e-filing. There will be an open link. Basically, well, where do we need to submit it? So once you submit your tax return, um, there is as we went through in navigating e-filing, you go to where you did submit your tax return, which is under return history, and there will be an open link where you'll upload and submit the documents. It's important to note that once you uploaded the documents that it hasn't gone through to SARS and that you must actually click the button submit. A lot of people make this mistake where they think they've uploaded it and in fact they haven't. You actually have to press submit in order for SARS to get your information and to actually complete the verification. So once you click submit, the link is then closed and you can't submit anything else and then SARS will come back and either ask you for anything else or they will say that the verification is complete and you'll either pay your refund, they'll pay your refund or, or the, the case in the tax year will be finalized. Once the link is closed, you cannot submit anything further, as mentioned. It's also important to note to include the original SARS letter with your uploading of your documents as it does have a unique case number that is linked to the information that you're supplying. So yeah, that's SARS verification. Not everyone gets um, selected for this. Um, you'll be notified, as I said, either by, by um, email or SMS, or if you go onto e-filing after submitting your tax return, there'll be a link open. So it is actually important to please keep your um, details updated with SARS so that you will continuously receive any um, information that they may need from you. So thank you and I look forward to the next video.